Now, um, the next one, in this case, you guys can see, again, make sure your variables are aligned. Good. Um, then make sure to look for variables that have the common LCM. Well, in this case, you guys can see that 2 and 5, LCM is going to be 10. 3 and negative 2, LCM is going to be 6, right? Now, I probably would have tried to eliminate the y's because I already have a positive and a negative, right? But I haven't gone over an example of getting one value to be negative if needed. So I'm just going to say that you want to eliminate the x's, OK? So the least common multiple of the least common multiple of my coefficients of 2 and 5 is 10. 10. So I need to multiply this equation by 5 and the top equation by 2. Now, if you multiply by 5 and 2, you're going to have 10x over 10x, which you could subtract the equations. I don't like subtracting equations, though. I want one to be negative. So which equation, top or bottom, would you like to be negative? Have the negative coefficient. Top. OK, so then all I'm going to do is multiply by negative 2 instead. Totally up to you guys. So when I multiply by applying distributive property, I get now 4y equals positive 38. And then by applying distributive property on the bottom, I get 10x plus 15y equals 0. Do you guys see how that worked? Yes? So now I can just add the two equations. Add into the equations, I get 19y equals 38. Then I can just divide by 19, divide by 19. y equals 2. Last time, I chose the top equation to plug my variable in. This time, I'll plug my variable into the bottom equation. So I'm going to plug in 2 in for y of the bottom equation. Now, could you use this equation, that equation, that equation, or that equation? You could, yeah. Because remember, the blue equations are equivalent to the black equations because you multiply by a number, which produces equivalent equations. So all we're going to do is let's choose this. Let's choose the black one, though, because it's easier numbers. So I have 2 times x plus 3 times y, which we're going to replace with 2, equals 0. So therefore, I have 2x <coughs> plus 6 equals 0. Is it OK if I skip two steps and give you the solution? We're, all, we're at that point. So x would equal negative 3. Here we're dealing with x and a y, so we could say we could write these as a coordinate point. Sometimes when you're dealing like with different variables, you don't know which one's independent, which one's dependent. So you can just give the two solutions. All right, if you